that's it. <laughs> um, so, got any siblings? Yeah. Uh, one little sister, two little brothers. Ooh. You? Uh, yeah, two older sisters, one younger brother. Really? Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a high school teacher. Really? 10th really? grade history. Cool, man. What about you? Bartender. Oh, cool. Uh, pays the bills. Nah, you demand to know. Okay. I don't know about all that. <laughs> um, Jim Carrey or Dave Chappelle? Come on, man. That's that's <laughs> no, not I a fair question. That, what are, they're both legends. <laughs> Does my life matter? Doesn't everybody's? That's not the question I asked you, bro. I don't know what you want me to say to my that. My life matters, maybe? I don't know why I people mean, are trying to die. I'm not going to let you bait me into some bait? talking <laughs> point. It's just a simple question. I mean, I'm doesn't not... a cop's life matter? Doesn't a uh, veteran's life matter? Doesn't bro, an unborn baby's life to do matter? With what I'm asking tell you. Tell me more about how you're always the victim. Victim? Whoa. Tell me more about how affirmative action. You have action, no idea what it's like History to be Month, black in all black colleges. To be BET. constantly reminded that you're not good enough. There was a WET network. You, know, you say that that's racist. Or there was a White Jesus History Month. Imagine that. Do like you see the hypocrisy there? You have the privilege to just turn the TV off and all your issues go away. I was wondering how long it was going to take for you to bring that up. You know nothing about my life, bro. Who are you talking okay, you to? Think that All I know I've had is it's your easy life. Just because everything I'm you think that I have not worked for everything, everything that I, I have in this country, this country you have a choice. You have to take responsibility life. for yourself. You don't know Stop it's blaming like other people for the things that you don't have. It they is a choice okay. to start selling drugs. It is a choice to resist arrest. What happens after that is that individual regression. I'm not going to feel guilty for my parents' success, for my success. They never own myself. I never own slave. You would never have been a slave. And you would never trade places with me. Why does it offend you so much when we say Black Lives Matter? It's exclusionary. It says that your life is more important than mine. It just furthers the divide. Oh, so you see there's a divide. And you think everyone lives matters equally. So then you agree Black Lives Matter just as much as everybody else's. And if that's true, when we're telling you through our experience we're being mistreated, murdered, and targeted, when you say all lives matter as a retort, it feels like you're just trying to silence us. I'm not trying to silence anybody. I just think that it's hypocritical when in one breath you preach about protecting black lives, but then nobody's got anything to say about black on black crime or the fact that white people are killed by cops at twice the rate of black people. It just doesn't fit your narrative, so you ignore it. Okay, judging by those stats and your experience, I can see why you think that. But if you dig a little bit deeper into those same stats, you will see that white people make up 76% of the population. Black people only 13. So per capita, black people are killed two and a half times more likely by cops. Now black on black crime, right? What about black on black crime? It's murder and it's wrong. And even though it happens just as much in the white community, I don't hear anybody out there screaming about white on white crime. That's just crime. And it's a distraction from the real point about police brutality. I've honestly never heard that argument put that way before. I guess I'm just tired of being made to feel guilty for something that I have absolutely zero control over. I'm not going to feel guilty just because I was born white. You shouldn't. And I shouldn't be seen as guilty because I'm black. You shouldn't. When we say white privilege, it really seems to get under some of y'all's skin. And I, I just wonder, like, why? Yeah, it really does. You're basically saying that my life has been easy because I'm white. It completely diminishes and invalidates my struggles. You don't know what I've been through. You're right. I don't. And I don't pretend to. Right? White privilege is not saying that you have it easy. It's just pointing out the fact that in this country, you get the benefit of the doubt. Your innocence is assumed. Now, I don't want to take away from any hardships you've had in your life, and I'm sure you've had your fair share. There are just certain things you don't have to worry about, certain precautions you just don't have to take. You have the privilege of not seeing the other side. Yeah, but even that, that right there, it sounds like you're playing into the victim mentality. The moment you stop taking responsibility for yourself and you start blaming everyone and everything around you for your problems, you give away your power. I know a lot of black people who are doing really well in life and it's because they refuse to play the victim. Look man, 
All I'm saying is that if you're looking for racism, you're gonna find it. Believe me, racism is there whether you're looking for it or not. But what I will say is yes, we all know people that wanna play the victim in life, black people included. I'll give you that. But as a whole, black people have been put in a place to have to catch up since we touched down. We all know slavery was wrong now. And we all can see Jim Crow was on the wrong side of history. But what about the war on drugs, right? And how that disproportionately affected black communities? What about mass incarceration? Why is it that when a black family moves into a predominantly white neighborhood, property value immediately goes down? We are not helpless. And we want to do it on our own. There's just all these invisible hurdles that you don't have to see when you're in a position to not be affected by them. Okay, time out. Just back up for a second. That thing you said about uh, real estate and land value, that's, that's happening today? Bro, yes. Dude, that's so messed up. I agree. Where would I have learned that? Like, they didn't teach that in school for sure. Trust me. I know. Okay, so... What is it that you want from white people, then? <laughs> uh, I don't think that abolishing the police is the right idea. Look, I'll tell you this. Anybody with sense does not want to just erase the police. Okay. Then what? Look, I don't speak for all black people, okay? For me, big picture, there are systemic changes that need to be made, right? Um, the housing market and redlining, education and equal resources, criminal justice system, don't even get me started on that. But for you, knowledge is the precursor to change, right? You can't change what you're not aware of. So keep listening and please do not stop having conversations like these. That's it? Nothing else for me? Just listen? That's a change that can start today. And it's important. All right. All right, I can see you got something for me. What's up? Look, man, I just... I am tired of being made to feel guilty because I'm patriotic. I love my country. Our country. Our country. I don't want to be at risk of losing my job because of a retweet either. So I guess... Don't write somebody off just because they don't get it right away or they don't get it all the way. I mean, look right here, me? How would I have known any of this if you didn't give me a chance? That makes sense. Cool. Word. <sighs> that was intense. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I appreciate you. Though. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. Right. Um, so that, that bar, where? Oh, yeah, so it's actually right around the corner. It's on a hurdle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, man. you can say drinks. Drinks on you. Honestly, drinks on you. Hey, you can finish the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it.